Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Netflix could be in deep, deep doo-doo. Yes, Baby Reindeer, the real Martha. If you've not watched Baby Reindeer, where have you been? It's a very interesting show. It's funny, and it, for those that don't know, just as a quick one, it's supposedly based on real events, it's a true story, and it shows a character known as Martha as essentially someone that's a lunatic. Okay, it portrays her as a lunatic, a stalker, uh, a sex offender, essentially all these manner of things. It's, it's pretty pretty brutal and gruesome. Uh, the real life person that this character is based on is now launching a lawsuit against Netflix. We didn't know whether this was all words, uh, you know, all, all sort of smoke and bluster, but she's filed the lawsuit now. So this could be really interesting because a lot of people have, you know, looked at certain bits of information that is now public and gone where is the elements that she's claiming is defamatory like it doesn't seem to be that but this could also blow up in her face could, you know because it could all come out that she's just a liar and yeah all that stuff did happen so anyway let's uh yeah dive into it hit subscribe if you knew it and turn the bell notifications on so here we have it baby reindeer's real life martha pursues netflix with a 170 million defamation lawsuit and negligence as well. So, not a small fry, but remember, people file lawsuits all the time. There's lots of frivolous lawsuits being filed. It doesn't mean that this is going to, you know, culminate in anything. So, updated with Netflix's response, which we'll get to in a minute. Sometimes you create such a web of lies that you almost forget what you started running from in the first place. That quote from Donnie, who is supposed to be Richard Gadd, in the second episode of Baby Reindeer just might be on the mind of Netflix on Thursday after the streamer was hit with a $170 million defamation and negligence lawsuit over the widely watched black comedy. It says this, This is an action by plaintiff Fiona Harvey against defendants Netflix Inc. and Netflix Worldwide Entertainment, collectively Netflix for defamation, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligence, gross negligence, and violations of Harvey's right of publicity arising out of the brutal lies defendants told about her in the television series Baby Reindeer. Interesting. And this is the long-promised suit filed yesterday in federal court in L.A., because it's been sold as a true story, and this is the issue. Sold as a true story, Baby Reindeer, which launched on the streamer April 11th, is the raw account of Gad's frustrated comedian character's experience with an alleged stalker. This is the stalker, the alleged stalker. Uh, Jessica Gunning stars as that alleged stalker, Martha, who the world learned last month is Harvey, Fiona Harvey, a Scottish lawyer. Supposedly a Scottish lawyer. We don't actually know says this, the lies that defendants told about Harvey to over 50 million people worldwide, I think it's been watched by like 70 odd million plus now, like it's staggeringly high. It's a very popular show. Well worth your time, like it is actually good to be fair. I didn't bother to review it. Some some things I review, some things I don't. This is not, not really the, yeah, it's not really the audience for that kind of a review, but well worth watching. Strong recommendation. Anyway. The lies defendants told about Harvey to over 50 million people worldwide include that Harvey is a twice-convicted stalker who was sentenced to five years in prison and that Harvey sexually assaulted Gad. Defendants told these lies and never stopped because it was a better story than the truth and better stories made money. And that's the heavily illustrated 34-page complaint ads. As a result of defendant's lies, malfeasance, and utterly reckless misconduct, Harvey's life had been ruined. Simply, Netflix and Gad destroyed her reputation, her character, and her life. Be fascinating to see what happens. I mean, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oddly, for all the times he's mentioned in the suit, Gad himself is not a defendant here, it seems. That is odd. Why is she going after Netflix specifically, but not Gad, the writer who sold it to Netflix? Also, the individual that, you know, sort of put on a... I think I think this was first a play, if I remember rightly. 
Why is that not part of it? We intend to defend this matter vigorously and to stand by Richard Gadd's right to tell his story, a Netflix spokesperson said Thursday a few hours after the legal action, which Harvey has been saying for weeks she intended to pursue, was filed. Netflix doesn't look like they give a toss. So this could get really interesting. Really interesting. Netflix may have taken a beat off the bat to determine how much all this is truly going to cost it. Aiming for injunctive relief. Uh, Harvey wants the streamer to pay handsomely for what she sees as its sins. She is seeking, seeking more than $170 million. Actually, per the breakdown from the jury trial, seeking uh, filing. So it says here... A judge, uh, a judgment against defendants for actual damages, the sum to be determined at trial, but is believed to exceed $50 million. How have you been damaged by $50 million? What? That's insane. <laughs> anyway, um, exclusive of legal costs, uh, legal fees, costs, and statutory interest. Judgment against defendants for compensatory damages in the maximum amount allowed by law in an amount to exceed $50 million. Well, another cool 50, why not? Exclusive legal fees and costs, including mental anguish, loss of enjoyment of life, and loss of business. Alright. Judgment against defendants for all profits from baby reindeer in the maximum amount allowed by law in an amount to exceed $50 million. Exclusive legal fees and costs. Where are you getting this number from, love? What are you doing? Judgment against defendants for punitive damages in the maximum amount allowed under law and believed to exceed $20 million. There you go. It already exceeded $20 million. Oh, 170. Already. This stuff's dog shit. Pre-judgment interest at the legally prescribed rate from the date of the violations until judgment as well as post-judgment interest as applicable. An award of attorney's fees. Such other general relief to Harvey is just entitled. <laughs> what? You're mental. I find it horrifying, misogynistic, Harvey told Piers in May, uh, Piers Morgan, of the reaction she's experienced in the wake of the series. Some of the death threats have been really terrible online, you know. It's been absolutely horrendous. That no one should no one should get death threats, that's wrong. Snagging around you know, unless you hit there. Uh, snagging around 60 million views in its first month on Netflix, Baby Reindeer won the Breakthrough Limited Series Award this week at the Gotham TV Awards, either for or against the series. Now the awards may be handed out in court. There you go. I don't know which way this is going to go, but it's fascinating. I'm going to follow it, and I hope you find it interesting. If you've watched it, you will find this interesting. But she's filed it. She's done it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. You like what I do? Support further via Patreon because we do get demonetized. So it's the first link down below and you can do that for as little as $2 a month. It's really nothing. So help the channel out. Cheers. Bye now.